Hey everyone, got a little bonus video for you here on the weekend. You see the tinfoil hat is on, that means we got a couple juicy rumors to talk about here as always, grain of salt and all that jazz. But we're going to take this off, um, just remember, grain of salt, tinfoil hat time. Uh, before we get into the rumors, I want to remind you that we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED. That's right, there's two things you have to do to win. One, be subscribed to the channel, so head right now, hit that subscribe button. Two, be at our live stream this Friday. That being said, the giveaway is open worldwide, so I wish everyone luck. All right, folks, we got some rumors for you, and one of these is the kind of rumor I usually don't cover, but there's a very specific reason we are covering this rumor, uh, and the other one is actually an update on an old rumor but it's come back around again. In fact, both these are kind of old rumors at this point, but there's reasons that they are relevant today. So first, let's start off with the Game Boy slash Game Boy Color. You guys all know we had the N64 and Sega Genesis announced at the Nintendo Direct, and we also had Game Boy and Game Boy Color rumored to be coming to the Nintendo Switch Online service uh, from sources such as Nintendo Life and Tom Phillips over at Eurogamer. Uh, and a lot of legit places basically saying, hey, we are going to get Game Boy and Game Boy Color. They didn't know when we were going to get those, those systems added, but they were pretty confident we would. Emily Rogers, who actually was the one who tipped us off on Genesis and N64, also confirmed that Game Boy and Game Boy Color are still coming. But these are rumors because they're not officially, um, you know, coming from anything. They're not like a data leak. They're not, you know, something specifically uh, announced by Nintendo. These are just people saying it's going to happen. Well, Tom Phillips updated today. Uh, and said the following on his Twitter account. He said, the N64 and Mega Drive were the two Nintendo Switch online platforms I heard about alongside Game Boy slash Game Boy Color. I imagine N64 slash Mega Drive, or as we call it in the United States, Genesis, remember, Eurogamer is obviously not a United States outlet, are being rolled out first, as they're more enticing things to prompt people to upgrade. I would anticipate the Game Boy and Game Boy Color are part of the current Nintendo Switch online service, uh, so the non-upgraded, the non-expansion pack plan, and Nintendo didn't want to conflate the two. So yeah, they're probably going to add Game Boy, Game Boy Color, I would assume, you know, next year, sometime within the next six months, uh, but it's going to be for the normal $20 subscription per year, not the expanded upgrade. So uh, announcing all of them at once would have felt a little bit confusing, potentially for marketing purposes. Uh, once they've rolled out N64 and Genesis and people kind of understand that that's an expansion pack, they can then go add this other thing to the original service. So... That is at least what he is stating. Obviously, we don't know. This is all rumors at this point, but, you know, it would make sense, at least. And we've never had Game Boy and Game Boy Color actually part of any virtual console on any platform. So, yeah, that and Genesis are already more than what we've gotten on prior virtual consoles. Now, our second rumor. This one's a little weird. So, there's always these rumor videos all over um, all over YouTube about, oh, this is the next character for Smash, or this could be the final character for Smash, or this is why we are going to get more characters than the last one that we're supposedly getting on October 5th. But this one's a little weird, uh, because I've been ignoring all of the so-called Smash character leaks for the most part. I think we had, like, one that we've maybe covered in the last year. We don't really cover these leaks very often, because more often than not, they're just completely made up bullshit. Uh, Smash stuff doesn't actually leak too often, but it does leak sometimes. And this one's interesting, not just because of what character it is, but apparently how this character potentially got leaked. Now, the leak did happen on 4chan, and again, that's a whole other reason why I basically never cover rumors for 4chan unless it's just like a for fun video, not meant to be taken seriously. But I am taking this one a little bit more seriously because there was a post on 4chan back on July 30th, so a while ago. Obviously ignored it for Obvious reasons, like we ignore any other 4chan rumor. Who really cares? But here's what the rumor said. Actual info here. I work for Disney Music. Nintendo called last week to request rights to several tracks from Kingdom Hearts to use in a digital event on October 5th. Sora is the last Smash character. Now, again, this is obviously being somewhat conflated somewhat potentially considered because October 5th is the date that we are having a Sakurai Presents presentation, a 40 minute showcase of the new character, the final character in Smash. So that's kind of where this is coming from. This person nailed the date. Now it could have been a completely 
luck-based guess, of course, but it also might have been legit. And having it leak through somebody who works at Disney Music, potentially needing music requests, it all kind of lines up to something that would probably be real. This would be something that actually does happen. You do have to have the rights to the music to use them in the present presentation, let alone to remix them and have them in the game. So licensing is a thing. Nintendo would have to contact the Disney Music Department for that because most of the music that is in the Kingdom Hearts franchise is actually fully licensed by Disney themselves. So they wouldn't necessarily go through Square for that. They would have to go directly to Disney Music. So this actually does make sense. It's just still, it could be made up and this person could have just got incredibly lucky with a guess. But incredibly lucky back in July? Like this isn't even recent. This was a while ago. So again, massive truckloads of salt here. Uh, obviously some people you know, don't think Sora could happen. There was an interview some time ago, I think with Famitsu Magazine, where like, I, I, I think it was Sakurai or somebody kind of hinted that Sora can't come to Smash, but it was kind of out of context and the full, um, the full actual details of it are kind of muddy. I wouldn't say that Sora can't be in Smash. Sora is an original video game character, does originate in Japan. It doesn't matter that the Disney characters existed beforehand, but Again, grain of salt. I just think it's amazing to imagine Sora in Smash? Really? That would be pretty badass, I gotta admit. And definitely not something I actually thought was possible. I thought Crash or even Master Chief were more possible than this. But again, we find out the truth of it all on October 5th. Don't hold me to this. This is just a 4chan rumor. Go Pack Go. You guys have a lovely end of your Sunday. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, for a fresh start of the week with a normal news video, lots of stuff to talk about uh, already that I'm already gathering stories for. And yeah, we also have some uh, so a live stream I believe I'll be doing tomorrow night, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, folks, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.